All right, welcome back to another episode of Terrible Face Cam Lighting. All right, so basically, okay, whatever. Well, anyway, welcome to the video. My name is Chris, if you didn't know already. Today, uh, it's just gonna be a little, like, a little end of the year video kind of commentary thing. I'm gonna be playing some Forza though. So, um, I've been playing Forza recently for like the past few days, and I am enjoying it so much. I haven't played it since, well, I, well, I played it a little since I installed it because I have Game Pass, but overall I just haven't been playing it, and honestly it sucks because I love Forza. Like, honestly, like, um, honestly, out of all the Horizon games, I would say my favorite one is Forza Horizon 2 because it was the first one that I started with, and I think it was the first ever game that I beaten on two separate consoles. I beat it on the Xbox 360 back in, like, 2015, and I beat it on the Xbox One or on the next gen consoles in 2019, 18, I think. So, what car should we take whilst we're commentating? Um, I'm gonna take, you know what, I'm gonna take my Toyota out for a spin. I, ever since I started this game, I really love the Toyota. I love it. I just really like the new Supra, honestly. Like, look at that. That is so sick. <laughs> so, getting into this video. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank all of you guys for a great 2021. I mean, well, for me, in general, like, my, like, myself, this year was up and down, I would say. Mostly down, it was a roller coaster. But for this channel, honestly, it might have been one of the best years ever for this channel. Um, last year was amazing, and this year was even greater. And I strive to hope that 2022 is even a better year for this channel and I really hope so. I mean, my goals, I, I don't want to set too many expectations and goals because, well, you never know. Because Formula One has taught me never to get your expectations too high or else you're going to be disappointed. A good example of that is the uh, new regulations coming in because everyone's like hyping up whether Ferrari's going to, you know, nail these regulations or whether it's going to be Aston Martin or Alpine. Don't get your hopes up too high on that, by the way. Don't get your hopes up too high. Either you're going to be disappointed and depressed until like 2026, or somehow you're going to get lucky and you're going to be happy until 2026. So, just putting that out there. But, uh, my goals are really just to improve my content in 2022. Oh. Sick landing. Our spoiler is gone, damn it. <laughs> but I mean, you gotta admit though, that was a nice front flip. Thank you, Rox. Anyways, my goals for 2022, like I said, is to really just improve my content. Um, I'm really glad that I started to do the like siege funny moments type of stuff because although I like hitting clips on that game almost like daily every time I get on and stuff, it's kind of nice to just do funny moments and just mess around and stuff. I, I am thinking about doing those, you know, like those clips and stuff again. Oh, and I just lost my skill streak. I'm thinking about doing those types of clip compilations again because really, I mean, sometimes I'm not in the mood to really edit a funny moments type of thing. Sometimes I just want to show off like the clips that I've gotten because some of the clips, even though I do play casual mainly, some of the clips I hit in there are honestly so insane. Especially today, I played on PS4 with uh, with my friend Dewey, and I hit like so many crazy ass clips. I might actually just have to put them in a video for all of you to see. <laughs> but pretty much, yeah, that's that's pretty much my main goal. Um, I guess my other one is just to really strive to be more happier and more calmer heading into 2022. You'll see why tomorrow. Today, well, today's the 30th. I don't know when this video is going to go up. Probably the 31st, but I'm going to be making a video kind of reflecting on this year. Oh, there's another barrel roll. And um, I encourage you to watch that because really, it. I'll just say this right now. Summertime through early fall were just really the low points of my of like this year for me or possibly in my life in general because uh, you'll figure out why tomorrow, but let's just say it got to a point where like, I really could not take it anymore. So anyway, ooh, big jump. We oh, this is where the the little like track is. Nice. Uh oh oh, <laughs> and there's another barrel roll. Nice. Okay, so moving on from that depressing stuff, I want to talk about new content on this channel. Um, well, obviously, I would love to do more Forza stuff because honestly, this game, Horizon Five. 
big step up from Horizon 4, honestly. It's just, it's a very big step up. Um, Britain was a nice setting, but soon after you beat the game in Horizon 4, it just got so boring way fast. And honestly, I could see myself beating Horizon 5 and and just still enjoying the game because Mexico, honestly, I think, I mean, as much as I wanted Japan as like the actual setting for Horizon 5 or maybe future Horizon games, it could be a, a setting. Mexico, I think, was a very good setting that they chose because you see there's like a lot of nice place in the deserts and then there's like nice places to really just drive and cruise on the road and stuff. Nice places to climb like that mountain back there. It's very, very nice. It, it, it provides something for everyone. And I'm mainly a road type of person, but I also like going off road and just having some fun. So yeah. But, um, also, uh, if you didn't catch the home screen, okay, it's acting up again. You may have seen that I also have Borderlands, because Dewey convinced me to get it. And I have been playing the first one, but I may start the second one soon, sooner or later. I just want to do, like, the first game first and then the second, but I may just may just jump right into it <laughs> straight away. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't really know what else I could do on the game. I am thinking about streaming some of these games. Borderlands is one, because, well, it's a story game, and really, I think people would like me to see me fail in that. <laughs> It's a possibility. Possibility. Streaming and maybe Borderlands content as well. And also, another one, R6 Extraction. We are like, what, a month away from that game? I cannot wait for it. I feel like Ubisoft has really improved on j just the game overall, like improving it overall than the last time that we really saw it in June when it was first revealed uh, to the public again after like it got multiple delays. And uh, I really... I really like what they did with it, especially the lower price, because this game was like $60, and now it's like $40, so I, th I took that opportunity to pre-order the game, I really liked what I saw, but yeah, it, I, I really, really am looking forward to it. But yeah, if there's a certain game that you want me to play, um, then let me know, because I, I mean, I do have Game Pass, so I could explore more games like, I don't know, Subnautica, Ark, I, I actually am thinking about maybe trying Ark Survival. I did play it like two years ago, and it was pretty fun, but uh, I did I, I don't know, I lost interest in it. <laughs> but hell, I'll also, um, I am thinking about maybe making Halo content, but the thing is though, like, the only Halo I played is the Master Chief Collection. Only the story modes, not any of the multiplayers, but I, I do understand some of the multiplayer. Obviously, it's like, capture the flag and stuff like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... All I know is that mainly it's objective based, you know, you can't really go for kills and stuff, although many do go for kills. <laughs> but yeah, Halo Infinite content, it's a possibility. Ooh, wait, actually, can we can we do that race? Might as well have something to do but instead of just driving around Mexico. Just talking about nothing. <laughs> What's our recommended cars? So we have all of these. I think I might take the Porsche out. Because, uh, I have a lot of, I have like, what, 50-something cars that mainly I did not purchase. Either I got from wheel spins or because of the loyalty awards from playing, like, the other Forza games previously to Horizon 5. Here we go. Ooh, the launch on this is pretty good. And that guy just turned straight into that other dude. Ooh, uh. Oh, <laughs> come on, let's go. Oh, that's a Ferrari. I knew that was a Ferrari. I knew that body from somewhere. Uh, oh, and oh, I was about to say we are so co we, we can definitely get first position. There we go. First place. All right. So actually on the topic of racing, uh, also, in the oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So another thing that I want to do, obviously, you guys know I do some F1 content on here and most like and actually it does not go well <laughs> um but i've been thinking to do more f1 content not just on the game but in general just commentary type of stuff like discussing certain topics like certain drivers that may have you know failed an f1 or could have been good good potential so like stuff that i would say like josh Ravel does and maybe like perspective f1 i watch those guys those guys are pretty damn good and making those types of videos and 
Actually, I made a certain video like that. Uh, it was back in 2020. It was around when Sebastian Vettel left Ferrari. <laughs> it was around when Sebastian Vettel left Ferrari and like, you know, Carlos Sainz signed for Ferrari, Ricardo went to McLaren, and Alonso was expressing interest in Alpine, or well, at the time, Renault. And uh, it actually did surprisingly well, despite my actual like, superb, enthusiastic commentary. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking about doing more of those, and obviously F1 game content, maybe like game news and stuff for like F1 2022, the game. Up oh, here we are for the finish, sideways. That's my signature move right there. I just finish sideways. <laughs> a 911 beat a Jaguar, Pagani, two Ferraris, a Ford, and many more. Ah, here we are. Nice, but yeah, I, I don't know what you guys think of me doing like F1, like F1 news and type of stuff like that. I would love to because, it, I mean, even though I've been watching F1 since 2019, I've learned so much about the sport. Honestly, I'm just like a F1 nerd at this point, <laughs> and I just realized now that. Oh, are we gonna hit the tree? Oh, we hit the tree. Oh, we hit both of them. Holy shit. Okay, that was actually a sick landing. I just realized now that uh, my nose is stuffing up and I'm possibly getting sick. Fuck. And the last thing I want to talk about is a return to Battlefield. I know I haven't been posting as much Battlefield as I have this year than last year. And well, it's because really I just fallen out of Battlefield. I fallen out of love with it. I have been playing it sometimes with friends or just like out of boredom and it's still fun, it's still fun. Um, I am planning to return to Hardline, at least like on New Year's Day or so. Oh, that single handled drift, oh my god. That E-drift though, <laughs> god damn. But I am planning to return to uh, Battlefield Hardline, maybe on New Year's Day, maybe like make like a video or so. On it because obviously Hardline is one of my favorite battlefields of all time and really I, I just really like it. I know Danny on PC I know he can confirm that it's a truly underrated battlefield game. I think more people should give it a try honestly now even with 2042. But yeah I'm planning to I, I'm thinking about returning to battlefield at some point um whether it's the full game plays again which I think I might continue to do or some type of videos like I did uh back Full game, yeah, but I was thinking full gameplays or just maybe making some like the content like I did back in June or August with like Hardline and Battlefield 1 and stuff where basically take a trip back to the old battlefields and kind of just like focus on a certain thing in that game, you know? That, I mean, that's what I was thinking to do. I don't know if you guys would like that, but I mean, I don't know. So yeah, um, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, but I can already see that this video is like 19 minutes long in recording. But I don't know how long it's going to be when I edit this. <laughs> but um, then I, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for a great 2021. Obviously, like I said, it hasn't been the best for me, but you guys certainly made it a lot better than it should have been. And hopefully you guys stick around in 2022, despite whatever content that I try to do, whether it's F1, whether it's Rainbow Six Siege, whether it's Battlefield or something like Forza or Borderlands or fucking whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, especially with my ugly ass face. I forgot to say too, um, this face cam, it might not be a thing regularly, but I might look into doing it more since hell it could improve some of my videos, especially the Siege ones where sometimes a reaction with a face cam can make some things a lot better. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, and hopefully you guys are taking care on this New Year's Eve. Um, hopefully you guys could, don't get too drunk. Don't get too crazy, because you know how sometimes that can be. But yeah, I hope you guys sincerely take care, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.